Okay, so this is a Kenya Top Bar Hive, and uh, you can see I've removed one comb to uh, make an opening in which to start and uh, examine the bees. And you can see there that I'm also adding uh, smoke. And this is a particularly small colony, it's particularly weak, uh, but they still can be a little bit aggressive. You can see I'm wearing gloves. Uh, you can see here I'm trying to find the queen. Um, difficult to find a queen with African bees because they they tend to run up and down on the comb. So you can see that they're, they're really moving around, running around. Difficult to catch the queen. And the queen in this particular case is not marked. Okay, so you can see also the brood pattern. Uh, it's not very good. There's lots of gaps in the brood. Um, now I'm pushing the the top bars together. Um, I want to leave a small space. I don't want to leave a, a big space because then I'll have more bees coming out, possibly stinging me. And I'm moving from one bar to the next. The combs uh, in top bar hives are, are unsupported by frames, so you have to be careful how you hold them. If you hold them on the flat, they'll just break. So you have to be very careful <coughs> that you don't uh, cause stress <coughs> on the comb. In particular, if if there's uh, honey in the comb, it can easily break and fall off. Um, so all the, all these combs are brood combs. Um, pretty okay. The colony you know, has plenty of brood, uh, not much food. <coughs> So there are about 26 top bars in a top bar hive, in a Kenyan top bar hive. Unsealed honey. Unsealed honey. There's kept honey and unsealed honey. Unsealed, kept. Okay. And okay. And there's nothing.